Cells at Work is surprisingly popular. When it first aired as a show about blood cells protecting the body, I thought, well that sounds neat, but I doubt it'll be a hit. Two anime seasons, a spin-off and a feature film later, and I've been thoroughly disproven. Here's five things you need to know about Cells at Work. One of the reasons I thought it wouldn't be a hit is because the topic is largely educational, and in general, it takes a lot of writing talent to make that sort of topic work. But the thing is, Cells at Work absolutely had that talent, and it's being used for both purposes, entertainment and education. In China, it became the most watched show when it was airing, and biology teachers started using it in classes. In fact, Cells at Work encourages this, providing educational material on their website for use by teachers. Features. The manga and anime are dedicated to getting the facts right. The author Akane Shimizu is a secretive person, but many believe them to be a professional biologist working as a manga author. But importantly, they know where their expertise ends, and so for the spin-off series Cells at Work Baby, which tells the story of blood cells within a baby's body, they brought on the expertise of a paediatrician. It still tells the story in the same anthropomorphized way, but it was important to bring on an expert to be able to convey accurate information. The show is produced at Sony's Aniplex, one of the largest entertainment companies, but it all started when a publicity producer picked up a copy of the manga at a bookshop. This is actually how a lot of anime happen. All it takes is one producer to fight for an adaptation. Although, this wasn't necessarily his job, and so he somewhat excitedly sent an email to the publisher saying he wanted to adapt it. Usually, you're meant to actually form a pitch with a bunch of details, but his email was enough to get things rolling. This was his first job producing an anime, and it led to him later contacting Ufotable, asking them to work on Demon Slayer. The anime industry can be a harsh place run by mega corporations who care little for the people who create the shows that they make so much money from. But while all of this is true, there is room for anime to benefit the world socially and use all that money and popularity for positive causes. Most relevantly was Cells at Work teaming up with the Red Cross to encourage blood donations, something people usually won't do outside of a disaster. The benefit was that if you donate blood, you will be able to watch the first episode of the anime a week early. It's the perfect tie-in, and for a good cause as well. We're probably all familiar with watching anime with original English opening songs when we were younger. In fact, that practice is still used today with kids' anime. But in those cases, it was usually an entirely new song. Music rights can be messy, and so it's hard to be able to just make an English version of Japanese songs. But in this case, with the voice actors performing the Japanese opening and Aniplex owning the rights to the song, it made perfect sense to create an English version with the English dub cast. The original composer even commented on how well their performance fits. Thanks for watching OtaQuest in Japan. Feel free to subscribe to find out more about the art and creation of Japanese pop culture.